Hello, welcome to my channel and thanks for tuning in to this video. Today I wanted to do a video sort of in preparation for Lisa Eldridge's new release that's coming out. So I'm really excited for this release and I just wanted to go through and show you some of the products that I think will be coming back in this release that I have so you can see what those look like. And then also just sort of discuss what else she's coming out with in this release and just get prepared and excited for it. So if you'd like to see all of that, just keep on watching. So I'm gonna start out with my demonstrations and I have three of the glosses and I'm pretty sure she said that all six of the original gloss shades are coming back um, plus four new ones. And then I wanted to show the two luxuriously lucent lipsticks that I have as well because she's coming out with more shades of those too. I'm not, it's not clear whether she's bringing them back as well, but just in case she is bringing those two shades back, I can show you those and we can talk about the formula a little bit too. So starting off with the glosses, I'm going to go in with Go Lightly first. So that's what the Go Lightly Gloss looks like. It's a really nice, fresh, sort of punchy, corally pink type of color. And I think really reminiscent of Audrey Hepburn's lipstick and just the lipstick of the 60s in general. So that's Go Lightly. All right, next up I have Muse. So this is Muse on the lips, really nice, easy, everyday kind of nude shade. It has a little bit of rosewood vibes, um, but definitely very wearable and goes with pretty much anything. So that's Muse. And next up is Blush. there's blush on the lips. Blush is my most used one. I can see that I'm pr probably about halfway through this tube. Um, again, it's just really great for every day. It has a little bit of berry tone going on in it and I just find for me, especially if I'm wearing really light makeup or not wearing makeup at all, this one is the best of the three that I have for me because it gives enough color to my lips to really bring a lot of life to the face. So this is blush. So those were the three glosses. I'm going to swatch them all later, but let's do the lipsticks right now. There are two of the luxuriously lucent lipsticks that she's already come out with, and I have both of them. So this one is Love of My Life. So that's Love of My Life. It's a really beautiful, I would say sort of a mid-toned pink, and it's a really beautifully balanced color. And I would say it has quite a bit of blue in the undertone. That's Love of My Life. And then last but not least, we have Go Lightly. So I know a lot of people have been hoping for Go Lightly to come back, so I hope it does, because I know there are a lot of people who missed out on this one and these luxuriously lucent ones came out as part of her summer pinks collection two years ago so that's go lightly and of course it has the same inspiration as the go lightly gloss the gloss i think is a bit more wearable for me. It's just uh, has a little bit less brightness to it. There's a lot of white, I think, in this Go Lightly, and I'm actually loving the way it looks right now, but this one is just a little bit easier to throw on. All right, so I have the Go Lightly gloss back on, and let's do some swatches. All right, so here are some swatches. So these are the two luxuriously lucent lipsticks. That's Go Lightly, and that's Love of My Life. Then we have the blush gloss, 
the Muse gloss and the Go Lightly gloss. Wanted to read a little bit of what Lisa has said in her newsletter, her save the date newsletter. So she said, I will have a new collection of spring slash summer products available for pre-order on my site from the 15th of May at 1600 hours UK time. So you can figure out what time that is for you. For me, it's noon and I've got my alarm set. So it's going to be Saturday, May 15th. This time it's not only lipsticks and glosses. I'm excited to introduce you to the first two products in my complexion color range, Seamless Skin. First is my Elevated Glow Highlighter, which is launching in four skin adaptive sheer tones. It not only gives your skin that enviable amplified summer glow, it also contains a biopolymer called Film Excel which smooths and tightens the appearance of skin along with skin calming, hydrating, and moisturizing ingredients like tamarind seed oil, oat kernel extract, and glycerin. So that sounds wonderful. So four shades of liquid highlighter basically, but it has this special polymer in it which is supposed to tighten the skin and blur it and uh, smooth it, I think. And then she says, secondly is my Enlivening Blush, an innovative light and blendable cream texture. It's a non-comedogenic formula that glides onto the skin effortlessly and sets to a finish which is skin-like, not too dewy or shiny, and not too matte. Launching in six shades, it is suffused with lifting, blurring, protective, and antioxidant skincare ingredients. So that sounds wonderful too. Six shades of liquid blush, which sounds like it also has some sort of ingredients in it that give a little bit of a blurring effect and that tightening, lifting effect as well. And then, back by popular demand, alongside the original shades that sold out so quickly last November, I'll be launching new shades of my Gloss Embrace Lip Gloss, and there will also be new shades of luxuriously lucent lip color, ranging from My Lips But Better shades to Brights. So you can see one of the new glosses and one of the new luxuriously lucent lip colors on her Instagram if you go there. She's wearing those in a couple of photos. So that's what she's telling us, and then I've read a couple of articles as well, and she's mentioned that I've seen one of the shades of the blush, which I think is called Pink Soap, which is kind of her everyday go-to. Love the name of that. She has the best names for all of her products. And she's mentioned a few of the gloss shades. So one was Songbird. So Songbird was meant to be in that Summer Pinks collection a couple of years ago in the Insanely Saturated formula, but she could never get it to a place where she was happy with it in mass production, so it was never released to buy. And so I don't know if she's planning on still coming out with that as a lipstick ever, or if she's just going to be putting it out as this gloss. Now she's described the Songbird gloss as a light beige slash putty pink. That sounds delightful. And she has talked about the shade Charm as well, which is a shimmery pink. Now she's also shown the Affair gloss, so that's a, a gloss in the color of the Velvet Affair lipstick. I'm not going to lip swatch this one, but I'll show you what it looks like on my hand. So it's a really beautiful, this is probably my favorite of the most recent fall collection that she came out with. Beautiful, toasted, warm, brownish, peachish shade. It's just really beautiful and I think really flattering on a lot of people. So there's going to be a gloss form of that and you can see that on her Instagram. That's one of the ones that is shown on her Instagram. And then with the Luxuriously Lucent, she's mentioned and shown the shade Kitten Mischief. So again, a great name. And that looks like sort of kind of in the similar family to Affair in that it's a little bit uh, brown and a little bit warm but also really wearable so that looks really beautiful too. That's three of the four gloss shades that we know about and we know about one of the luxuriously lucent and she hasn't said how many of those luxuriously lucent ones are coming out so it remains to be seen. She said she's going to be making a YouTube video or a couple of videos showing all the new products, so I'm definitely looking forward to those. And just about the formula of the Luxuriously Lucents, um, 
she says it's an ultra modern comfortable and luxurious texture that feels smooth light and pleasurable on the lips and i would say that's true it's a really nice formula sort of like the glosses in that you can do a single layer and it's quite sheer it gives you a little bit of color but not too much or you can build it up and you'll get a lot more color payoff from it so it's a really nice formula that feels lovely on the lips and it makes your lips look smoother and almost a little bit plumper too so really excited for this launch i'm planning on getting a lot from it so i think i'll probably get all four of the new gloss shades we're gonna have to see about the lipsticks but i will probably get all the new lipstick shades and um possibly all of the blushes we'll just have to see what the colors are and also at least one shade of the highlighter but we'll see if there might be more that could be suitable or could be used in other ways like as a glowy bronzer or something like that so i'm just gonna have to wait and see until she shows us everything until i make my final decision but i'm going to be getting probably the majority of this collection lisa eldridge is my favorite makeup artist it's my favorite makeup brand. Her lipsticks and glosses are number one in my book. There aren't really any other brands that I would even consider buying so much from, but I just really, really love her products. And I'm excited to get them and show you everything on my channel too. So I think that's about it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you're excited for this launch. If you have Lisa Eldridge products, I think probably a lot of my subscribers found me through her products because the first two videos on my channel are Lisa Eldridge videos. And if you have any other comments or questions, I'd love to see those below. If you'd like to see more from me and you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I would really love for you to do so. Thanks again so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.